Hello, everyone. We have decided to officially launch the sale of our MetaHuman customization tool starting today. This video is the first tutorial, and in this series, you will learn how to start with the initial character model you received, how to proceed with the retopology process, the tips and tricks to use, and how to effectively use our tool. All right, let's get started. We are going to transform this character on the screen into a MetaHuman. Throughout this process, you must organize the character meshes first. In my case, I will use the Extract Mesh feature in the Mesh Edit menu. Use this to separate the meshes, and after separating, press Alt-Shift-D to cleanly remove the history. When organizing the character, you must separate the face mesh from the surrounding meshes. It's easier to work later if you separate the eyeballs, eyebrows, eyelashes, and so on. As we separate the head, we can see the boundary line with the body mesh. This happens because the normals of the mesh are recalculated. In this case, the normals of the mesh were not locked before separate meshes. Selecting it and then going to Display, Polygons, Vertex, Normals. If they are displayed in green, it means the normals will keep being recalculated. We need to lock the normals before separating this mesh. Go to Mesh Display, Lock Normal. The normals will change from green to yellow. Now, even if you separate the mesh, the normals won't be recalculated. You can see that despite the mesh being separated, the seam line is not visible, and the normals are maintained. Now, let's organize the other meshes as well. Please separate all additional meshes, such as eyeballs, eyelashes, eyebrows, and any other auxiliary meshes, and name them correctly. Great, I think everything is organized now. I've separated the face and body meshes of this character and sorted out the other accessories by each part. I've also named them correctly according to their parts. I've managed to group them. It's perfect. All right, now let's specify the texture paths for this character. Go to Windows General Editor's File Path Editor to reassign all the file paths being referenced in the current scene. Okay, now all the textures are in properly. But now, the texture normal map looks a little strange in the scene. Let's set the color space of the normal map to raw. For this character, the arms, legs, torso, and face parts each have separate materials, so I will set the normal map of all parts to raw. Very good. It looks good now. Now all the seam lines on my body have disappeared. Let's zoom out and check the scene. It looks like there are meshes overlapping on the screen and flickering. It's not like they actually overlapped. This issue occurs due to camera clipping. If the problem is with objects that are close together, you can increase the near clip plane value of the perspective camera a little more. Okay, now the mesh cleanup is finished. This mesh will now be the original mesh. Next time, I will show you how to retopology this mesh into a metahuman mesh using R3D's wrap. See you next time, everyone.